Dalton 456 here with a Jeep repair video. Uh, this is just a basic overview of how to change the oil pressure switch on a uh, 2000 Jeep Cherokee. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same for a 2001 Cherokee with the 4 liter inline 6. I'm not sure how it is on the uh, pre 96, I mean, uh, like the 99 and before, because I know the 99 has a distributor right here. Whereas the 2000 and the 2001 have uh, spark rails. So uh, that oil pressure switch may be a little bit harder to get to on a, uh, a pre-2000s Cherokee. Because uh, if you look here where the, uh, this sensor is right here, on the uh, pre-2000, that's where your distributor is. So it may be a little bit harder to get to the oil pressure sensor, which is right here. And... Um, your basic symptoms that your oil pressure switch are going out. Um, it's pretty much if the gauge gives you a false reading of 80 psi pressure or if the gauge doesn't work at all. It's a possibility that it may be this sensor or it may be your dash cluster. Um, if you go to a pull apart you can get the dash cluster about $45 or if you go to um, O'Reilly's the Sensor is about 45 bucks as well, so it's not too expensive to change out both of them. And uh, I'll cut back after I have a change. All right, we've got the old sensor out. As you can see, it it's completely broken off. Uh, luckily enough, since it broke off, I was able to find a socket to fit it. It's a, uh, uh, let me see if it shows it on here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's an inch and one sixteenth. Not sure what the metric equivalent is, but Unfortunately, I don't have a socket big enough to fit that. Well, that socket's not deep enough to fit the new sensor, which looks like so. Um, and I don't have any wrenches that big, so basically what I'm going to do, just gonna screw it back in. See if I can get it on there. As you can see, it does have some thread sealing on it already. Let's see. And it's kind of hard to start, so... I'll probably just cut back in a second. Uh, the only other hard part I had, I had some trouble getting the connector off, but I mean, it's been on there for 13 years, so it, it pretty much welded itself to it. I had to use a side cutter to cut up pieces of the old plug. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, we got her tightened down now. All I did, uh, you remember the red thread sealant? I just tightened it down until I couldn't see that sealant anymore. And I figured that ought to be tight enough, but uh, as always, just check and see if you have any leaks. Um, all that we have left to really do is plug it in. Let me get my keys out the way. Let's see, make sure we plug it in the right way as well. And you just plug it in until it clicks. And let's see. Alright, all plugged in, ready to go. I don't know if you can really, oh, I zoomed in all the way. Don't know if you can really see, but yep, we're all plugged in. Now, hopefully when I start it up, our gauge works. If not, um, I will probably drive, light the Jeep on fire and drive it into the bayou. And I think we have pressure. Like I said, this installation I'm pretty sure will cover most Cherokees. I know for sure it'll work on a 90, I mean on a 2000 and a 2001. I'm not sure if this works on pre-2000 uh, models though because they have a, a different distributor setup and all. So uh, the, the sensor is probably there. It may just be harder to access. So uh, till next update, later.